So, first off, on a on a talk, well, I'm gonna go backwards. First off, the way the way um, Tommy Fury was celebrating, and the man even said himself, he said he was said he felt like he won like a world title. All the pressure was on his shoulders, all this bullshit, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, fucking cry me a river, man. Like, are you for real? And, because I watched the fight, I watched the fight live. And, um, just that, just that part alone, I thought, mate, what the fuck are you, what the fuck are you talking about? So this is so. Remember, this is coming from the uh, this is coming from the so-called true boxer, the out-and-out -out boxer. He's been boxing ten plus years, right? He's he's had he's had a he's had a, he's had a small he's had an amateur background. I'm not saying he's had a ba big amateur background, but he's had an amateur background. He keeps on talking about how, he, how he's how he's from a fighting family. His brother, his brother's obviously brother, his brother's size of fury. His cousin's Yui Fury, his dad's John Fury, you know, the real fighting men and all this stuff, blah blah blah. Right? So why 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 is he getting in such hysterics? So emotional being a man, right? Basically he's a YouTuber who picked up boxing a few years ago, no amateur background. He's had six fights, yeah, against okay some MMA fighters who were past the hit, you know, who, who were not, who were not who they were, but they were still fighters though. They still had long fighting experience. Obviously, they were out and out boxers. Had a fight against KSI dude, whoever it was, whatever. Okay, cool. So basically, right. This man's celebrating a win over somebody who said that he'll take him out in four rounds and that if he does make it to eight rounds, he'd be lucky. And he's going on like that. Mate, the only person that night who got him... The only person, really, who's a true hero... The true victor in that fight is fucking Jake Paul. The man has had six fights, really, against... People who weren't boxers. That's what the whole narrative was. He wasn't fighting no real boxers. So really, this is Jake Paul's first fight against a boxer who's got way more experience than him. I guess the fighter who's got a taller reach, if he's taller, a longer reach from the you know from the fighting family and all this stuff. The real winner in this in this situation is is Jake Paul. The man even knocked him down with a jab. I don't give a fuck. I don't hear no story about oh, 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 he's off balance. He's off balance. Shut the fuck up, man. Because if it's the other way round, no one will be talking about oh, Jake Paul was just off balance. No, you be you be celebrating the win. You be celebrating the knockdown as if it was a you know a legitimate knockdown, le legitimate knockdown. Which Jake Paul's knockdown was a legitimate knockdown. I don't give a fuck if it if it was off balance bullshit. We've seen plenty of people get knocked down with a jab. Happens all the time. Anyone who watches boxing knows you can get knocked down from a jab. If someone's throwing a stiff jab and you walk straight into that stiff jab, you're going down. Because if you're coming forward, right, or in again, or if your legs ain't positioned properly. And a man comes at you with a stiff jab, right? Chances are, chances are you're going down. And we've seen that. That we've seen that already. You know, the bigger the bigger dude got knocked down with a jab. Also, Tommy Ford, he's talking about oh, oh, he had all the weight on his shoulders and shit. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. You're the one that keeps talking about being the, the true boxer. So why, why, from all this build-up, was he talking about how 
He's never trained so hard in his life and all this stuff. He's left no stone unturned and all this. But so wait a minute. See, this is what I mean. The the contradictions. If this guy is so easy to beat, and this guy's never fought a boxer, why are you going to why why are you going to such lengths to have such a good camp? And all this bullshit. If he's for somebody who's not a boxer, does someone make that make sense? But it's just bullshit. Absolute bullshit, man. On fucking Radio Raheem. At the end when he was interviewing him. Man going man's going on like Tommy Tommy Fury just won the undisputed fucking champ undisputed fucking bouts. Man's going like he's just he's just beating in a fucking top fucking cruiserweight. Man, shut the fuck up, man. If I know, I've never seen such pandering towards um, a fighter in a while. Again, you know, let's just break it down. Jake Paul hasn't fought a boxer before. The, the dude has literally just picked up boxing. He's just picked it up. And people are moaning about how, how he's how he's knocking out um, um, ex UFC stars or or ex basketball players or whatever. That who gives a fuck? The man's got no amateur experience, and he's knocking dudes who've got a lot of experience out. I don't care if he's. I don't care if that. They're not out and out boxers. I don't give a fuck about that. He's knocking. He's not. He, he beat Anderson Silva. You know, people people want to talk about. Oh well, maybe you know, maybe it was fixed for him to win. Whatever, man. But I don't give a fuck. I don't care how old Anderson Silva is. I don't give a fuck. The, that Anderson Silva has been fighting fucking decades. You know what I mean? So, so for me. <laughs> All, all credit goes to Jake uh, goes to Jake Paul, and I don't even I'm not even a fan of Jake Paul, bro, at all. But I've got no problem against him. What I do like about Jake Paul, though, is that he's he's a master troll. He's funny as fuck. He's funny. At first, I was thinking, who the fuck's this guy when he first came on the scene? I wasn't really too bothered about who this who this guy was, but he's a he's a master troll and he's funny, so I'll give him that. And he has done. He has done well for boxing. The man's put fucking, the man's done well. He's put some put female boxer on the map. The man, the, the man's fucking helped Amanda Serrano get to where she's got to now. Get what I'm saying? So the man's done a lot. The man's not even a boxer, bro. <clears throat> and that referee was on some bullshit anyway, man. I don't think I don't think it was it, it was never meant for. Tommy Fury to win. Uh, it was never meant for Jake Paul to win anyway. Especially when the city. He just. I don't. I'm not saying it was an actual fix. I'm not really saying that. But you got. You got to look at it. You got to look at. You know the. You know the person who won that fight was going to get sanctioned by the WBC. Remember, okay? And the WBC stands for we be crooks, we be cheating. <laughs> Not really, well, it might as well be, but it stands for World Boxing, World Boxing Council. But the WBC are not; they they are known to be crooks. We all know that they're crooks, and the WBC are well in with the Fury family. The well in with Tyson Fury. Okay, they wanted Tyson Fury to be the heavyweight champ. They wanted that. So you really, you know, so you really think that it was going to be. In, in the best interests of the WBC to give Jake Paul a ranking, not really, no. Um, and that's and when 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 the referee took the point of Jake Paul for no reason, I thought this you know this is this is the fix. <laughs> this is the fix, man. This is this is some bullshit. And then the referee took a point off. Um, <laughs> Tommy Fury for hug uh, for for hugging for clinching too much. 
That that was some of the worst refereeing I've seen in a in a in a while. That referee, man, my god. Um, what I was gonna say. <laughs> that referee is jokes. Because if anyone watched the fight, the only person he should have got a point and taken off him is Tommy Fury. Because he blatantly smacked, whacked Jake Paul in the back of the head. It was blatant for everybody to see. But, you know, commentators didn't say anything about that, did they? The commentators didn't say anything about that because the commentators were biased. Well, obviously, the BT Sport commentators were. Because the BT Sport are in with the Fury family. That they're in with, you know, BT Sport are in with Frank Warren. So they're not going to give Jake Paul no credit. For nothing, they're not gonna do that. He's biased as fuck. But did but did but did um but did Tommy Fury win the fight? I'll probably say he won the fight. I'll probably, I'll probably say he won the fight by one round. To be honest, if anything, I would I wouldn't even mind if that fight was a draw, which it could have been. But the only person really you should be getting credit is Jake Paul. Tommy Fury should not be getting all this credit. You know, I'm seeing articles saying uh, how Tommy how Tommy Fury climbed up the canvas to to go in and win the fight. Shut the fuck up, man. Tommy Fury needs to either stay in that lane, do the rematch, and stay in that lane over there because he's got a lot of weight. Because if he's gonna go up against real cruiserweights. He's going to be in trouble. Trust me. He, he's nowhere near ready for that. Okay? <clears throat> and, um... You know... It's funny because... If you look at other boxers... Like... Anthony Yard... Anthony Yard has only had 12 amateur fights... And he's only had, well, egg, I don't know how many fights he's got professional, but not many either. But he got, he, he got ridiculed for uh, getting beaten by Kovalev. He got ridiculed for that. But the man's barely got, the, the man's, the man has got, has got barely any, any experience. And he still took Kovalev to the brink of deadly stopping him. And then obviously he got stopped after, after that, cause obviously from sheer exhaustion. And he got caught with a stiff jab, which put him down again. So I'm saying he get caught with a stiff jab and go down. But people always want to ridicule Anthony Yard. Anthony Yard has probably got about the same amount of amateur fights as um, as Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury's got what? How many fights? Tommy Fury got about ten or nine professional fights. And Anthony Yard's got about what? Probably about. I don't know, but I don't think it's more than 20 fights. 20 professional fights, and the yards got. And then the yard gets ridiculed all the time. Like, what? Like, I, don't, I don't understand that. So, you know, it's just it's just weird to me how certain people get favoured over others. But hey. But if I was Tommy, if I was Tommy Fury, I'll be. I'll be really pissed off with my performance. You got you got taken you got taken eight rounds by a guy who's never fought a boxer before. You just picked it up. And you got knocked down by the man. For me, if that if all the time you feel I'll be doing some real soul searching. I'll be I'll be really doing some real soul searching and some real Work in the gym If you're gonna be Contending at the uh, You know If you if you wanna start contending for uh, Regional titles and stuff like that It's just, it's that simple bro So I don't hit So really all, all credit to Jake Paul I don't give a fuck who's, I don't give a fuck what anyone else says All credit to Jake Paul for that I rate him for it bro Give me a rate, a rate Jake Paul for that 
So it'd be interesting to see the rematch. It really would. Because if Jake Paul gets a few things just right, but obviously he, he does he does the same kind of punches, you know what I mean? He telegraphs it, he telegraphs a lot of his punches so he can so he can see the punch coming. Especially the overhand right. He needs to learn how to disguise the overhand right and don't throw it too wide, you know what I mean? So Tom so so really the 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 world is still Jake Jake Paul's oyster. Sorry. To me it is. Jake Paul can only do better he can only he can only go on you know, getting better from that. And I wish Jake Paul all the luck. Again, I, I don't hate Tommy Fury, I don't hate towards him, nothing like that, but hey. He's still got a lot to prove anyway. So he needs to like calm it down a bit about how he's been fighting all his life and all this bullshit. Don't want to hear that shit, bro. Now after he got knocked down by a guy who doesn't even know fought a boxer before, don't even hear that shit, man. So just keep it quiet. Just, just, just lower the tone a little bit, you know what I mean? Just lower the ego. Get what I'm saying? Anyway, I don't know talk too much, man. I've already been down here nearly 17 minutes, so um on a quarter the end. So that'd be that that'd be that with that video. And um, until the next video, I'm out.